With all the stories out there, some people were surprised that we allowed fracking on our land. But we talked with experts and learned the facts about drilling for oil and natural gas. And guess what? It's safe. Safe for our land, our water, and the air. Well, when the industry says fracking is safe, they are not defining the word safe. So if we mean by safe that no drinking water will be contaminated, one could say that they are not telling the truth because the evidence on the ground is that we know, proven, factual, that there are people who live near fracking who can no longer use their drinking water, who can no longer use water to feed their animals because their animals have gotten sick from the drinking water. That is a fact. The, if the water is harming animals and the water is harming people, the water is not safe. That has been caused by fracking. Therefore, fracking is not safe. So the facts on the ground indicate that it's not safe. I've seen these commercials on, um, you know, safe. I mean, we can argue how do you define safe. I mean, a lot of those people, they were family farmers that were going to lose their farm. They basically had no other choice to keep that, and they've not had any problems. On the other hand, we've heard stories about when there's been some terrible problems, when people had their water contaminated or other illnesses. When they say that fracking is safe, and they know that there are negative outcomes and some significant negative outcomes, they're lying. But they do so in accordance with a well-established business principle. That is, say it's good, insist that it's good, and people will believe you if you say it often enough. The industry itself shows that at least four or five percent of the methane escapes from the wells isn't captured. That is significant global warming. There are other studies that seem to indicate that even more than four or five percent escape from, from the wells. So is that safe? You know, if you're concerned about global warming and global climate change, that's not safe either. I think a lot of this is still very new. We don't know. Is it maybe it's safe in the short term, but is it safe in the long term? So that's some of the questions we have to ask. And then some of the stuff we may not get a second chance with, particularly if, if a water supply is affected, you know, what do we do now to, to fix that? So that's, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a concerning. On the other hand, we need the energy. Is there a way to, to balance this? Gas industry advertising can be deceiving in many ways. For example, it takes about 4 million gallons of fresh water to frack a well. Once it is mixed with chemicals and comes back up from the ground, it can't be cleaned enough to return to the ecosystem with current technology. Looking at this ad, it leads you to believe that they are suggesting they are attempting to recycle all of the water they use, when in fact it's just the water that comes back up from the well. The company can reuse some of it in another frack job, but it will eventually find its way into an injection well deep inside the ground, where it will remain forever. These injection wells are known to cause earthquakes around the world. Cabot and water use committed to 100% recycling. It's probably, once again, on the, on the border there because there's really nothing incorrect about that statement, but what are they leaving out? They don't tell you where they're doing it and how they're doing it. So I would like to have seen more, more specifics about, about that. So once again, I, I think, it, you know, people want to do the right thing. I, that's, you want to believe that. Could they be doing this better? I think perhaps yes. There, there should be attached a responsibility for speaking untruth. That in itself is a significant ethical lapse. And it's better if we can attribute honesty to business interests rather than uh, uh, mendacious uh, statements such as fracking is safe. Part of the problem is that uh, uh, people get greedy and some people uh, 
have made a lot of money on fracking. And so to the few go the spoils and they ignore or, uh, or lie about the truth of what in fact is being done. I think the, the important point is that we know we don't really know. And in cases where we know we don't really know, though we're aware there are moral risks here, it falls on the actors, the persons who want to proceed with fracking, whether they be the natural gas companies or uh, government authorities. It falls on those people to do a lot of legwork to make it really clear that matters are safe. And misleading statements, advertising campaigns that obfuscate the fact that we don't really know, those are, are morally objectionable.